Hello and welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley and for the next hour uh, we are going to be looking at some very basic vocabulary related to the bedroom and the bathroom. No, there will be no foul language, <laughs> just basic uh, vocabulary. Um, we'll start off with some basic mix and match exercises uh, to identify nouns, actual objects, things you find in the bedroom and the bathroom. Maybe go on to some more uh, related vocabulary, verbs and adjectives and such. But we're starting with the basics. Uh, okay, I apologize for being a, a few minutes late there. I uh, had some technical problems just as I was opening the class, unfortunately, but everything's working okay now, so let me welcome you all to the class, and we'll get started. Hello, uh, Ramon. How are you? Hello, Clay. I'm fine, and you? Okay. Thank you. Uh, hello, Heidi. Hello. Nice to see you again. All right. Nice to see you as well. Uh, welcome to the class, Carolina. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Nice to see you. And uh, Alejandro, hello. Welcome to the class. Hi, Alejandro. Oop. Microphone check. Microphone check. Alejandro, you don't appear to be muted, so I think maybe there's some kind of issue. Do you want to... Try to figure that out. Uh, and Paula, hello, Paula. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, let's get started uh, again. Um, I'm going to do a screen share. We're going to do some basic, uh, simple identification, picture, word identification here. Here we go. Uh, okay, pretty uh, straightforward here. Uh, oh, I see. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, writer L. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, who's that? It's Alejandro. Alejandro. Oh, okay. Alejandro. Hi. Hi, Alejandro. Okay. Nice, nice to hear you. Uh, great, glad to see that your uh, microphone's working. All right, let's get started. Let me uh, quickly welcome Keiko to the class. Hello, Keiko. Hey, teacher. Nice to see you. Hey there. Uh, welcome to the class. Um, okay. Thank you. Uh, all right, again, we are talking about the bedroom and the bathroom today, but let's leave all foul language out of it, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, a little simple picture identification 101 here. Ramon, number one, what is this object here, number one in the left corner? Uh, let me see here. War wardrobe. Wardrobe. Very good. Uh, war. A war. Okay. Wardrobe. War. Drobe. Wardrobe. That's it. Ramon, have you ever seen uh, the movie or read the book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Mm, no, no. You don't no, know that one. But I guess. Uh, Okay. No, no, but, but I guess I know which movie you are talking about. Yeah. Okay. Just asking. Uh, all right. Anyway, that's what I envision when I envision the word wardrobe. Okay. Obviously, you hang your clothes in the wardrobe. Uh, if you don't have a wardrobe, perhaps you hang your clothes somewhere else, Ramon. Like where, for example? In the hanger for yeah. instance well you hang them on a hanger yeah in where in a closet there you go that's it all right checking your um, uh, 
checking your prepositions. On a hanger, in the closet, sure. Uh, basically, a wardrobe is like a closet that's built out instead of built in to the wall. Okay. Uh, Heidi, let's look at number two. Where's number two here? All right. Chest of drawers. Okay. Uh, chest of drawers. Do you know any other names for this? I know chest of drawers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is also known as at least when I was growing up as an American, that's a bureau uh, also. It's also called a bureau. Cabinet. No. Um, hmm, okay, that's interesting. All right, let's talk about that. A cabinet uh, you would find in the kitchen. It's built mm -hmm. into the counter. Or perhaps, I, I like I have kitchen cabinets in my kitchen that are up high, you know, and they have doors and they open with shelves and I put plates and and maybe some canned food and stuff. Uh, so uh, they are constructed, uh, cabinets are constructed and attached to the wall. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Not furniture. Yeah, they're actually attached. They're fixed. You can't move them around. Like a chest of drawers or a bureau, we could pick it up and move it to the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the difference between a bookcase and a bookshelf. Bookshelf is attached to the wall. Bookcase, you can pick it up and move it. Same mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, Carolina, let's move on to number three. Where is number three? Uh, there it is. Mirror. Yes. Say it twice. Mirror. On the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, this is a relatively small mirror. Um, what do we call a mirror that's, uh, you know, as tall as the wardrobe, for example? Do you know? No. No idea. Okay. Uh, one that is very tall, we would call it a full-length mirror. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. And one that, uh, a very small one that you might find in the bathroom to put on your makeup. Do you know what that's called? No. All right. Well, that's called a vanity mirror. Notice the word vanity in there, ladies. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, all right. So this is just when it's just kind of a medium-sized mirror hanging on the wall like this. Basically, we don't have a special name. It's just a mirror. Uh, all right. Alejandro, where's number four? Okay. There it is on the table. Alejandro? Alejandro, are you there? Oh dear. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you are. Uh, I'm back. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Alejandro, number four, what is this object? Uh, a lamp. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Um, okay. And, uh, all right. Related to a lamp, and not in this picture, but, um, for example, in a children's room, uh, sometimes we have a lamp, or sometimes we have a little light that we just plug into the electrical outlet. So the child won't get scared at night. Or maybe we plug it into the hallway. Uh, we put it in the hallway if you, so that if somebody needs to get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom, they can at least see the floor. Do you know what that's called? Uh, uh, no. Do you know what I mean? It's a tiny <laughs> lamp. I, uh, yes, tiny, yes, lamp. tiny lamp. <laughs> no. Yes. no, I mean it is, yes. That's a 
perfect way to describe it, but in English we call it a nightlight. Okay. Often it's just you plug it directly in and there's a little like almost Christmas light size light in there. A night light. Right. So the kids don't get scared maybe. Uh, okay. Uh, Paula. Moving on. Number five. Can you see number five? Paula, can you see Bedside. Yes. Yes, bedside table. Very good. Um, we have another name for that in English. Do you, do you know it? No idea. Do you have any idea? Okay. What's that? Nightstand. Uh, yeah, night. Very close. Yeah, a nightstand. All right. Uh, maybe it, it might be called a nightstand, something you put your book on. Okay. Maybe a lamp. Uh, okay. Sure. Uh, all right. Bedside table or a nightstand. All right. Keiko, number six. Hang on. I need to scroll a little. Uh, it's over here on the floor. <laughs> Keiko. Here it is, down here. Hardly rug. See. Okay, that's obviously a rug. Um, so your feet don't get cold when they touch the floor. All right. Uh, okay, what's another word that's, well, close to rug, Keiko? You might, instead of a rug, you might have uh, same kind of material all over the Car floor. Carpet. Carpet. Yes. Carpet. carpet. Uh, there you go. Uh, yes, indeed, you could have a carpet. Uh, and if it goes from one wall to the other, uh, it is called wall-to-wall uh, -wall carpet. N notice that uh, it's wall-to-wall uh, -wall is uh, used as a hyphenated uh, adjective, actually wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Here's an adjective, wall-to-wall, -wall, which basically I can only be used with carpet. I don't know anything else that's really you that it's used for, like ever. Okay, moving on. Uh, Ramon, uh, number seven, over here on the nightstand. Mm -hmm. well, it's a clock. Uh, yeah, no. Yes, no. Yes, it is, but <laughs> specifically... Can I call it a alarm clock? Yeah, you, you def and you should. Uh, a clock that you would put on the wall over here would, you know, would be a clock, but if you're putting, you know, one on your nightstand, it's most certainly going to be an alarm clock. Okay, Ramon, what is the action when you... You want to get up at six in the morning. What do you do with your alarm clock? Mm. What's the verb? What is the verb? Mm -hmm. I guess it's just set up. Everybody says that, and that's why I brought it up. No, it is not set up your alarm clock. It's just set. Uh, I just set. Just I didn't set. Know that. Yeah, nobody seems to. <laughs> so you're not the only one. Uh, hardly. Yeah, I, I hear this all the time. Yes, uh, English speakers do not say set up the alarm clock. Although I know it's very logical. Sometimes English is counterintuitive. That that is in fact what you're doing it. Um, but we just say set. Mm -hmm. In which situation can we use setup? Not just in, in clock context, but in other kind of context. Yeah, good question. Um, okay, you in a lot of contexts, uh, you can more abstractly you can set up a meeting, meaning arrange. Okay, uh, you can set up an appointment or a meeting. You can um, physically. Concretely, you can set up a computer desk, all right? Sometimes you can buy those like uh, 
I don't know, at I Ikea or something. You can buy a computer te desk that you put it, you assemble it yourself. So set up can mean assemble as well. Okay. okay. So you're not really assembling or arranging your alarm clock. So we just say set it. Um, and by the way, just set, not with up. When we use it to, for example, if I want to, I have an alarm system in my house. All right? Ramon, I will set the alarm, not set up the alarm. Set the alarm. If I have, uh, okay, uh, air conditioning, I will set the air conditioning for medium, not set up. Okay? So when we use, when we mean adjust, okay, I guess that's it. When we mean adjust, we just say set, not set up. All right? Mm, okay. All right. So set up, not fix, uh, okay, uh, assemble. That's different than fixing. If I'm building a desk, I'm not fixing it. I'm not repairing it. It was never built before, so I'm not, it's not repairing it's assembling. It's building it. So set up something. You set up. A kid sets up a train set. All right. He's got a toy train. He's got to set up the track. All right. He assembles it. It wasn't broken before. It's not. It's brand new. So he's not fixing it. He's arranging it, or, or he's um assembling it. So there you go. There, there's the difference. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, all right, uh, Heidi, number eight. Uh, before that, uh, recently I found a uh, new alarm clock. It was a round shape like ball and covered by rubber net, a thick rubber net. Then Good, when, uh, in the morning, when the alarm rings, you can throw against the wall or the floor. <laughs> that is a genius idea, I think. <laughs> That is a great idea. I would like to get one of those. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, okay, uh, Heidi, when your alarm goes off, do you do you spring out of bed or do you hit the snooze button? No, I I wake up uh, naturally and I oh, okay. on the alarm. I have an alarm, but I never, like you said, I wake up naturally anyway. I don't, but I set it every night, but I never need it. But okay, for those of you who like to rest five more minutes, that button you hit on the alarm is the snooze button, and you, and that's the verb. You hit the snooze button. We don't, we really, we don't say press the snooze button or you you hit it. So I Heidi's idea of a rubber alarm clock is actually very. <laughs> Very good idea. We don't even use the verb, you know, press or push. We hit it. Okay, anyway, Heidi, number eight. A bed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that is a bed. Uh, all right. Uh, obviously, it's a bed. Uh, let's talk about beds. <laughs> what kind of beds? How many kinds of beds do you know about, Heidi? How many types of beds? I'm talking about sizes and um, or shapes. Double bed, single bed. What or was the first one? Double, double, oh, double. Yep. Double bed. That's the right. Single the single bed. Yep. Uh, junior single? No. <laughs> <laughs> junior single. Junior double A single. <laughs> amateur bed. No. <laughs> baby, baby bed. Baby bed. Uh, okay, let's let's stick with the basic sizes in English. They are single, double, queen size, and we say size. Actually, not with double. It's weird. Actually, we say single bed, double bed, queen size, mm -hmm. and king, king size. and that's it, king size. Right. Uh, for sizes, and then there's different types of beds. Right. A baby's bed is called a crib. Uh, Heidi, what about the bed one on top of another? Oh, um, the beds that are usually for kids, 
yeah. or soldiers <laughs> or students, one on top of uh, the other. Tom, uh, double deck uh, the bed in the uh, children's room. Yeah. Well, they're called bunk beds. Bunk beds. Bunk beds. Bunk beds. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then there's other kinds of beds, you know, water bed. Uh, yes, very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, used, I used to have a water bed. Really? <laughs> well, it's, I moved into an apartment in the old, um, the ex-tenant, the old tenant before me. Mm -hmm. Couldn't move it out because it's so big. He built it in the room. So he couldn't actually get it out of the room. Um, so he just left it. It was very funny. It was bigger than king size. I couldn't find sheets for it. And it was the shape of a heart. <laughs> 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 yeah. I to I'm totally not kidding. It's very embarrassing for me to tell you that. But I swear I didn't really buy it. It just came with the apartment. It was very funny, though. Uh yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, speaking of beds, let's quickly look at the parts of a bed. Uh, okay. Uh, Carolina, Carolina, rather. Uh, number one. Carolina, are you there? Hello. Pillow. Yes. Carolina, have you ever had a pillow fight? Yes, many times. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Okay, uh, it seems to be a kid tradition pretty much everywhere. Have a pillow fight, beat each other up with pillows. All right, what is the verb? What is the action when you kind of, uh, your pillow gets flat and you want to make it fluffier? Do you know what that the verb is? I, I guess I know the verb. Do you? What's is that? it fluff? It is fluff. You is make it fluff? fluff? It is. You fluff your pillow. That's exactly right. Okay, when you kind of hit the sides of it, try to make it bigger. That's it. Okay, uh, Alejandro, uh, Alejandro uh, number two is what part is that what is number two uh, it's a uh, blanket well kind of <laughs> well kind of uh, okay kind of but not really <laughs> uh, it's a lot heavier. It's maybe quilted. It's very fluffy. It's okay. One of these five, but not a blanket. <laughs> okay. Uh, a sheet. No, a sheet is very thin. Uh, very okay. In the first <laughs> layer, not on the top. So, well, it's called a duvet. Duvet. Uh, uh, duvet. Yeah, uh, duvet, or Americans call it. Actually, Americans that American call call it a comforter. Uh, sometimes they're even made with duck feathers or down. All right, or the small duck feathers, not big duck feathers, but the uh, very soft, fluffy, down comforter. Comforter. If you live in a very cold place. It's a wonderful thing in the winter time. Uh, okay. Moving on. Paula, number three, then, would be. Paula, are you there? Paula? No. There's a ah. Sorry? Number three? Number three. Yes, number three. There is a blanket. Uh, the part that's folded back. Yeah. 
It's folded, um, folded back. Sheet. Yes, it's a sheet. Uh, oh. This style of, well, what do you call it when you flatten out the sheets and you arrange the pillows? What is the verb, Paula? Shit. What are you doing? What are you doing to your bed? I don't know. <laughs> okay. In English, you make your bed. You may tell your children, go up. Kids, make your bed before you go to school. All right? That's so out. Okay. Soldiers have to make their bed very, very perfectly, perfect creases, bounce a quarter, bounce a coin off the, off the sheets. Uh, that action is called making your bed. Uh, okay, number four. Uh, Keiko is uh, what? Whoops. <laughs> Keiko? Keiko, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, number four. On the Okay, after the sheet, you know, top of the sheet is what? Under the sheet. Over the sheet, on top of the sheet. Okay. Blanked. Blanket, okay. That's right. And uh, Okay, what can blankets be made out of? It can be made of... Cotton, cotton, um, sure. Lining, yeah. lining, linen, uh, plastic material, linen, mm -hmm. um, plastic fabric. Really, I, I don't for know. For example, I don't know. I don't <laughs> no, know. No, uh, uh, <laughs> polyester, polyester. Polyester. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. True. Okay. Very good. Wool, wool blankets are very heavy and thick. Sure. Okay, lots of different things, in other words. Uh, okay, uh, Ramon, back to you. What's uh, number five? Okay, three weeks. Uh, number five. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know the word. We have I know. removed the uh, sheet. Blanket and duvet and pillows. And now, here it is. What we're left with. Uh, I guess it is, it's mattress, the right pronunciations. Not quite. Mattress. Mattress. Ah, okay. Mattress. Oh, okay. Yeah, mattress. Mm -hmm. It's a mattress. Uh, very good. Every, every once that, in a while. Is that another word? What's that? Sorry? Is that another word? Can I use? For it or no? Is there another word? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. If you, if... Yeah, I'm thinking, and I'm still thinking. <laughs> I uh, I don't know what else to call it. Actually, I think you're teasing something. I think maybe there's another word, but I, it's a mattress. Believe me. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh. By the way, you make your bed when you do all these lovely folding and put arrange the pillow and everything. That's making your bed. When you remove all these things, by the way, you strip your bed. Okay, you, maybe you strip the bed maybe once a year or maybe more than that. And maybe uh, every so often you'll, you'll remove the mattress and beat it. <laughs> Beat it up to get the dust out and air it out. When you when you take things outside like pillows or a mattress in order so it can you know get some fresh air and smell better, whatever, you air it out. I'm airing out the mattress. Okay. That's uh, the verb for that. You you might you might beat it with a baseball bat or something. Um, okay, the on the top is the mattress. Uh, Ramon, underneath the mattress, what's that 
thing called? Do you know? I, if you didn't know mattress, I'm sure you don't know this. Does anybody know what goes under the mattress? It's usually much harder, made of wood and springs. No? Mm, uh, no I don't know the name. Okay. Right? <laughs> Cl close. It's some bars, but... Yeah, it's a box spring. Box spring, it's called. Box yeah. spring. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, if you need to buy a new bed, you need to buy the bed frame, the part that holds the mattresses. You need an, a box spring, and you need a mattress. The most expensive part, surprisingly, is usually the mattress. You might think it's the frame, but mattresses are really expensive. Uh, okay, and we already mentioned single, double, bunk beds. Sofa bed, we did not mention. Does anybody know what a sofa bed is? Anybody? Yeah, it's, uh, it's this sofa. You can, can transform it a bed. <laughs> that's it. Simple enough. It's uh, kind of like, kind of like Batman. <laughs> During uh, during the day, it's a mild-mannered millionaire, mild-mannered sofa, and at night, it converts into superhero Batman, superhero bed. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay. Enough of all that. Let's go. Let's all go to the bathroom. All right. Yay. We're going to go to the bathroom. We may go back and look at some other things there, but for now... We're going to spend some time together in the bathroom. Okay. Heidi. All right. Number one. Toilet. <laughs> toilet. Lit or only toilet? Uh, toilet. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you're right. Wait a minute. Oh, we got number 10 down here. Lit. Toilet lid. Okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> uh, yes, that's the toilet lid, and I don't know uh, what happens in all of your cultures or whatever, but in American culture, it is a uh, national, it is the national responsibility of the women to always tell the men to put the lid down. In okay. the Philippines, there are the toilets, there are no toilet lid and no seat. <laughs> Sometimes, believe me, you can buy them, and I have. <laughs> so, some people, yeah, traditionally, that's true. They, they, they don't really use one traditionally. Although, there, more and more, I see them. Uh, they're starting to use them <laughs> more often. But you're right; it was tradition to not have the toilet lid. The lid, uh, by the way, includes this top cover part and the part that goes around the bowl is also the toilet lid. So, put the lid down. Yeah. Uh, Alejandro, you, you had a question in the chat box. Duplex bed. There's no such thing. I'm not sure if you mean a double bed, which is kind of a medium-sized bed, or a bunk bed, one bed on top of another. But there's no such thing as a duplex bed, as far as I know, unless there's something I don't know about, which there's many things I don't know about, but I don't know about that one. Uh, okay, let's move on in the bathroom. Uh, okay, number two, uh, Carolina. Oh, is gone. Okay. Oh, and we have a new person with us. Hi, Zach. Welcome to the class. Hello, Okay. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Uh, nice of you to join us. Nice of you to join us in the bathroom, Zach. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay. Uh, Alejandro, actually, it's your turn as well. Number two is... It's a mirror. Uh, sure. And uh, just as we use... Full-length mirror, vanity mirror for a small one. Uh, we would probably just we call this a bathroom mirror, just to make it specific. Uh, sure. Sometimes, very, 
very often, actually, in at least in the United States and other Western countries I've been in, this mirror is actually uh, a kind of a cabinet. The mirror may open up. Okay. For put in uh, for uh, medicament. Like uh, medicine. Yeah. Medicine. Okay. Yeah. Maybe some other bathroom supplies, but uh, yeah, usually medicine is what you find in there. Uh, okay. Maybe, yeah, exactly. Right, so that's very common to have a, a cabinet, all right, a, it's usually called a bathroom cabinet, okay. Uh, it's a very common thing. All right, uh, Paula. Number three is, of course, below the mirror. Hello. Uh, or, oh, by the way, bathroom cabinet, or sometimes Hello. medicine. Sometimes it's called medicine cabinet as well, because it's used for medicine. Uh, sorry, uh, Paula. Number three is what? Wash basin. Wash basin. Yes. Basin. Wash basin. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, and uh, we also, do you know another name for this, uh, <laughs> this what is it? Piece of fixture? Yes, a sink, okay? So uh, Americans usually say a sink, so we say the, bath, the bathroom sink, the kitchen sink. We designate, you know, between the two types of sinks. Uh, yes, it's also very commonly called a sink. That's right. More commonly for... Uh, Americans would never say wash basin. We would say wash your hands in the sink. Something's stuck in the bathroom sink. Something like that. Uh, okay. Keiko, where's number four? Here it is. Number four. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Keiko? Are you there? It's, it's a towel. Of course it is. Now, but furthermore, uh, we designate what kind of towel it is. What kind of towels are there? Do you know? Okay. No, teacher. I okay. don't. Okay. Going from... Yeah? Go ahead. Paula? There is, yes, there is a towel. Yes, it's a towel, but we, there are different towel. types types of towels. Oh, dear. Towels. Yeah. Okay. There are different types of towels. Oopsie. What happened? Okay. There are different types of towels. The small one that might be in the bathroom you dry your hands on is predictably enough, a uh, hand towel, uh, okay, the, the big one uh, that you, you know, after you take a shower you use is a uh, bath towel, and um, a really, really big one that you might bring with you to the beach, and, and you could actually lie down on it full length on the, you know, on the sand, that's a beach towel, predictably enough. Uh, okay, so we do designate the different kinds of towels. One that's sitting next to the to the bathroom sink is probably a hand towel. And then you might have one that's closer to the shower, which would be a bath towel. Uh, okay, what is going on here? Uh, hmm. Okay. All right, hang on a second. got to get my... Uh, See if I can get my. Uh, let's see if I can get my um, material back. It kind of uh, messed up on me. Just give me a second here. Sorry about that. Okay, just a sec. Okay, it's doing it again. Why? 
after you doing that. Just... Oh, great. And now it's stuck. Uh oh. Uh oh, how oh, great. Okay, let me see here. Hang on. I'll try an alternative. Just one second. All right, we'll try this. Okay, here we go. Okay, sorry about that. And where are we? Number five. Uh, okay, Zach. Zach, number five. Okay. Holding the towel uh, holding. is? Okay, one minute, please. Uh, tower rail. Okay. Tower rail, very British. Americans would never say that. Uh, we call it something else. Any idea, Zach? No, I haven't. No idea, teacher. Oh, Sorry. Oh, oh, no problem. Uh, uh, Americans would refer to this as the towel rack. Rack, towel yes, rail. yes. Towel rack. I have, I have, seen, I, I have uh, heard this before. Mm. Rack. Yeah, it's slightly different. Uh, put your towel back on the towel rack when you're done. Don't just throw it on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Uh, okay, and uh, moving on, Ram Ramon. Teacher, uh, one minute, yeah. please. Uh, sure. my, my microphone uh, is very high. It's actually quite clear, Zach. It's pretty good. Okay, thank you, Jim. It's not too loud, not too... It's perfect, actually. Thank uh, you. Ra okay, Ramon, number six. Uh, number six are tiles. Tiles, very good. Ramon, have you ever tried to install tiles? <laughs> no, no. Uh, really I have hard. never and probably I would never. <laughs> because I have that no talent to do something like that. That's an extremely wise decision, Ramon. Very difficult. Yeah. And if you don't have skills, it's going to look really ugly. Trust me. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can Great. imagine. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, I tried it and it looked like a five year old child designed my bathroom. It's terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, try to avoid it. Okay, tiles, of course, ceramic. Uh, they're ceramic, um, made from clay and fire. They're usually square. They don't have to be. Um, but, yeah, they, they're often used in bathrooms around the world. They can be used on the floor as well. Uh, okay, on a patio outside perhaps as well. But anyway... Uh, okay, great. Moving on, Heidi, number seven. Number seven, shower. Okay, this is up here. This is the shower. Shower. Yeah. The the actual part the water comes out with the little holes in it is called the shower head. <laughs> sort of the whole system is called the uh, is called the shower. Um, sometimes the whole you know, you don't have to have a bathtub under the shower. Uh, so sometimes, um, so sometimes the shower is just there. There's no room to lie down <laughs> to take a bath. It's just a shower. So the whole. Before I stayed in a hotel in Italy, Sicily Island, yeah. the, the shower is uh, attached in, attached the ceiling. Ceiling is very high. About two, <laughs> over two meters. Yeah. So, uh, receiving the uh, hot water from uh, the shower was very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, showers around the world uh, can be uh, a little challenging, shall we say. Uh, another, uh, okay, here in the Philippines, um, I, 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 not necessarily in a hotel, but in most places they, they have a shower. Well, uh, shower's common enough, but they won't have a plastic curtain to separate the shower from the rest of the bathroom. They just have a drain in the floor. So when you take a shower, the water goes everywhere in the bathroom. <laughs> and then it just drains out a, um, a hole in the floor. The, the lowest spot in the floor has a drain. So they just, they don't have like a place for the water to go, like a tub or a separate little room. It's just a shower in the middle of the bathroom. and. <laughs> The water goes anywhere it wants to, really. Kind of crazy. But, uh, all right, the, the frequently there will be a, a curtain that you can you put, you get in the shower. You, you move the curtain so that you keep the water from going out into the rest of the room. That's called a shower curtain. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, showers around the world, they can be interesting. Uh, all right. Uh, Alejandro, where are we? Number eight. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shower curtain. Ah, uh, no, not yet. Number eight is down here below the. Ah, below okay. Number six. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Let me. Okay, bath. Yeah, okay. Bath or do you know another name? Um, no. Uh, okay, um, Americans say bathtub uh, or tub or just tub. Uh, especially informally, I'll put the kids in the tub. Uh, you know, in, very informally, it's just called a bathtub or a tub. Uh, Alejandro, where you live in your country, do most people have a bathtub? What country? <laughs> in, where you live? In Costa Rica. Yeah. Do most people have a bathtub or no? Uh, I, I don't think... You don't think so? Okay. I, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. All right. I, you know, I'm asking because in, in the United States, pretty much everyone has a bathtub. But here in the Philippines, bathtubs are rare, really rare. Everyone has a shower, of course, but almost no one has a bathtub. Bathtub is considered like a luxury here. Uh, whereas in the United States, everybody has a bathtub. It would be strange to not have one. That's why I'm asking. In some countries, it's not normal to have one. I was just curious. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, number nine, moving on, is the shower curtain. We I just talked about it. I forgot it was here. And so nobody has to say it. Uh, number ten is clearly a toilet. There it is, number ten. Uh Okay, we've got, um, I don't know, seven minutes, six minutes. Let's see if we can do one more round of picture matches with, um, well, what are these things called, by the way? <laughs> uh, Paula, what do you call all these things that you find in the bathroom? Mm. Do you know? In general. In general. Sorry? I don't know. Uh, I understand. Well, if you're packing for a trip, for example, uh, obviously you're going to need your clothes, okay. and yeah. you're probably going to pack your toothbrush and toothpaste and uh, comb and Tooth. deodorant and yeah. Toothpaste. Okay. Now we'll we'll look at them individually, but all of them collectively are, are we call we call them toiletries. Toiletries, all of them. 
like for example when you're going on a trip you, you oh I need to pack my toiletries all of that your razor your comb your toothbrush oh. your tooth, all of it together are toiletries okay individually uh, let's look at what they are Paula number one what is that um, shampoo yeah I thought it looked like deodorant <laughs> but yeah you're right that's uh, obviously shampoo okay you're right you're right very good uh, shampoo and then many people use conditioner after the shampoo <laughs> yes okay uh, Keiko number two of course comb is a comb of course it is okay uh, number three uh, comb, uh, okay, some people use a comb, some people use the other thing. Kiko, do you know what I'm talking about? Hair brush. Hair brush, yeah, that's right. Uh, so, um, some use a comb, some use a hair brush. Very good. Uh, okay, number three. Zach, of course, is... Uh, shaving. Number three. No, sorry. One moment. Turn to roll. Uh, I don't. I don't know. So, one moment, please. Are Are you uh, running to your bathroom to check? <laughs> so up to the floor. Here's here's the hint. Look at the bubbles. There's little brown Shav bubbles coming off it. Shaving shaving foam. Ah, uh, no. This is a soap. So uh, maybe you I, can I don't know. So what, what is it here? Soap is what you take a bath with, what you clean your body with. Uh, is oh, soap. sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, yes, yes. So you have uh, maybe a bar of soup, soap. Uh, many people use a bar of soap to wash their body with. Other people use different, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Liquid soap or soap gels or I don't know. There's great multitudes of beauty products now and the soap goes in what Zach where do you put the soap when you're done uh, kind of support but I, I don't know yeah. well okay it's called a soap dish there you soap go. Dish. all right so the soap is in a soap dish that's where it lives when you're done using it soap dish Yes. Okay, uh, Ramon, what's number four? Number four is toothbrush. Yeah. And might as well do number eight. We're running out of time. Ramon, go ahead. Uh, number eight is, let me see here, toothpaste. Okay, his partner. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Heidi, uh, number five. Razor. Razor. Um, even more so, this would be what kind of razor? Disposable. Um, Thank you. Exactly. Uh, disposable razor. Uh, and we do, um, you know, sometimes, if we're especially if we need to buy one, I need a new disposable razor. Or, uh, of course, uh, some people have electric razors. Uh, some people have the old, really old-fashioned kind. Do you know what that's called, Heidi? No, shaver. No. <laughs> it's called a straight razor. That's the uh. kind murderers use. <laughs> it's really sharp. You can really injure yourself. It's called a straight razor. Uh, oh, okay. Alejandro, number six. Speaking of razors. Six. 
<clears throat> shaving foam. Yep. Shaving foam, sometimes called shaving cream. Either one is perfectly normal to use. And Paula, last but not least. Number seven. Number um, There is the toilet roll. Yeah. Uh, toilet roll. Americans would never say that. Americans always say toilet paper. Um, you can say toilet tissue. You can say, sometimes we say TP. <laughs> Give me the TP. Okay. Uh, and there it is. And um, there we go. We are out of time. Uh, oh, my goodness. For anyone joining me in the next class, I had a little malfunction with my PDFs, with my materials, so I'm going to have to shut down before I reboot for the next class, so I may be a couple minutes late. But thank you all, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.